Hello everyone. Today I'm going to go over if you're starting to get this Win Air 126 missing FB G E M M D L L. So to show you the air real quick, let's run this. When you try to import PyTorch, you get this error. I found out that the solution after a long drudge is actually very simple. So I'll display it real quick for you. This DLL right here, this DLL needs to be in your system 32 folder. At least that's what it was for me. So if I bring this over and move it in there, this guy, I'll leave that there. PyTorch, PyTorch works. That's it. Where do you get the DLL? I'll try to post a link to it in the description so that you can get to it real quick. Uh, if you prefer not to use a link that I've made for you, I will show you how to get the DLL through the Visual Studio installer. Um, and if this doesn't solve your issue, I will show you also how to track down your issue specific to you. So the VS installer, Visual Studio installer, if you want to download this DLL from a safe link, you can go through the Visual Studio installer. So let's have that open here. And I would go through the modify. You can modify one of your versions here, whatever Visual Studio you're using. Uh, I'm just using the community version. And then individual components here. And then you want to find a very specific component. I'm going to copy and paste it into here. MSVCV143. This guy at the top here. BS2022. X64, X86 build tools latest. This should download the DLL we just saw straight to your folder, straight to your system32 folder. That'll solve this, this error for you. That's where I got the DLL. Uh, but it also comes with a lot of uh, bloat. So you get about two gigs of whatever is in this package. I don't know. But that's, that's where I got the DLL from. Um, so how did I find that that's what I needed the DLL? That is a mission. So I will replicate the bug. I'm going to pull this out again of my System32 folder. And then I'll show you how if you get a different error, you can track it down. So for safekeeping, let's keep that DLL right there. So this should work if you're getting a similar error, but it's different. So I'll replicate the error real quick. We get the error again. So there's this cool little, uh, cool little application built by the folk, built by uh, what's his name, Lucas G, on GitHub. If you download this dependencies, I'll try to I'll include a link to this too in the description. If you download this little application and then inside of it, you're going to extract the folder. Pretty simple. Double click on the exe GUI file. It's going to I think it's like dependencies exe. Uh, I'll open that for you real quick so you can see the uh, specific file. There's a lot of files in that folder here. It's this specific file right here, dependencies GUI.exe. You'll get this. Then you're going to want to open, open to this specific DLL that's in the error message. That DLL that's in the error message right there. That's what we want. We want to, we want to track down what the dependency error is. It's just telling us here that the error is with this DLL, but that's because this DLL is using the other one. <laughs> that's it's using the other one right here. It's using this. It needs this DLL. 
So that's why it's telling us this error. So this error message is quite, well, it's helpful, but you need a package like this. What is, what does this tell us? So if you have, um, if you have this program, it's going to tell you what DLL you're missing. It's also telling me what folder it's looking for them in, which is kind of nice. So it's running all of these, that specific DLL. So this is PyTorch trying to run my CPU. And uh, if I bring the DLL back in and reopen this or refresh, you'll see that this error goes away too. So I'll do that real quick. Did my folder? No. Okay, let's bring it back in. I want to keep the name there because it's quick to find. Let's do this again. Open that specific DLL that's uh, causing me trouble. This should probably work with other DLLs too. If you have uh, something else that's missing. There we go. Now it sees it. Now it sees it. So it's, the, it's tracking the dependencies. It's tracking which DLLs. This DLL. DLL is just like the compiled code. Okay, hopefully that helped you solve your issue. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye for now.